Hello boys and girls, it's me, Miss Mahoney. Today we're going to have a little bit of a music class together. First, we're going to sing the hello song. Then I'm going to read you a story. Then we are going to sing a song that has to do with rhyming words. All right, but first let's sing the hello song. my favorite stories. I'm gonna sit down right here. This is a story that my mom used to read to my brother and I when we were kids. It's called The Golden Egg Book. It's by Margaret Wise Brown and illustrated by Leonard Wisegard. So I'm going to hold it up and read it and then before I turn the page I'll try and remember and show you the pictures up close. The Golden Egg Book. <clears throat> I love to read this book during the springtime when all the little baby birds are hatching from their eggs and all the baby bunnies are starting to come out. Here we go. Once there was a little bunny. He was all alone. One day, he found an egg. He could hear something moving inside the egg. What was it? Found a little blue egg. Maybe a little boy. Maybe another bunny. Maybe an elephant. Maybe a mouse. Boys and girls, do little boys and bunnies and mice and elephants come from eggs? No, they're mammals. They don't come from eggs. Who could tell what he would find? And how would a little bunny know? But there was something inside that egg. He could hear something moving. He shook it. See, he's listening to the egg, he's shaking it. Then the bunny pushed the egg with his foot. He jumped on top of the egg. Oh, that silly bunny. He climbed a tree and threw nuts at it. Oh, that silly bunny. He rolled the egg downhill, but it still didn't break, and whatever was inside the egg didn't come out. So the bunny threw a rock at the egg. But because he was only a little bunny, it was a very little rock, and he didn't throw it very hard, and the egg didn't break. Something was trying to get out of that egg. The bunny sat very still and watched through his shining eyes. He sat very still and listened with his big, soft ears. Pick, pick, pick. Pick, pick, pick. Pick, pick, pick. Then the little bunny began to yawn. <sighs> and he yawned, <sighs> and he yawned. The egg was very quiet. 
He curled up all sleepy and warm close to the egg and went to sleep. He went to sleep because he was so sleepy. See, he's getting tired. Going to sleep, keeping the egg nice and warm. Then, pick, 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 and peck, 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 and crackety crack. Out jumped a little yellow duck. Well, what is this? said the little duck when he saw the bunny. What could this little fur thing be? See, he hatched from the egg. And he's looking at that bunny saying, what is that? What is that thing? The bunny was very sleepy, so he was still asleep and didn't wake up. Inside the egg, said the duck, I thought I was all alone in a small dark world. Now I find myself alone with a bunny in a big bright world, and the bunny won't wake up. Look at him in his egg. So the duck pushed the bunny with his foot and then jumped on top of him and threw a little rock at him and rolled him down a hill. Whee! And the bunny woke up. Where is my egg? said the bunny. And where did you come from? Never mind that, said the duck. Here I am. So the bunny and the duck were friends. And no one was ever alone again. The end. Oh, I love that story. Now we are going to sing a song together. And it's going to have some rhyming words in it. Remember, a rhyming word is a word that has the same sound at the end. So cat and bat both have the at sound. Cat, bat, at. So before we start our song, I want you to think of some words that rhyme. I'll give you a few ideas, but then I want you to come up with your own. You could think of frog and dog because they both have og in them frog dog um you could do sun and fun they both have un at the end sun fun you could do cat and hat did i say that already i might have said that already but Think of two words that rhyme with each other, because we're going to use them in a song. I was able to record music on my piano, so I'm going to hit play on that, and then play the ukulele along with it. So we're going to sing with piano and ukulele. This song is called Down by the Bay, and it's very silly. Remember, think of your rhyming words.
put your rhyming words in. When it gets to have you ever seen a put in your words. Are you ready? Here we go. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, ready, it's your turn. Have you ever? Pick your favorite one, and we're gonna go fast. Ready? By the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, have you ever? Down by the bay. <laughs> that was fun. All right. Boys and girls, thank you for singing with me today, and thank you for letting me read you that story. I miss you tons, and I can't wait to see you again really, really soon. Get out and play in the sunshine and give your parents a break. I miss you, I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye!